This video will demonstrate how to use Shipflow to optimize hull forms. I will start importing an existing Shipflow configuration. That's the command file and the offset file. And we can see already the geometry that has been imported, the different offset groups, the assembly of all groups, and the configuration with, which keeps all the necessary information to control ship flow. We will reduce the number of iterations to three so that we have a short, a quick response of the computation. The computation links the framework to the local executable of ship flow. And now we would like to run ship flow, but not simply for the existing hull form, but for a transformed one, for a modified version. We want to do an optimization for that purpose, I have prepared a small feature that creates a longitudinal shift of the frames according to a B-spline curve, and the, the vertices of that B-spline curves are controlled by an optimization algorithm. So what we get after running this feature is a new offset group. It's an image of the previous one, and um, this offset group can be taken um, within the assembly instead of the initial one. Now we have linked new geometry to the simulation and we are going to run the computation once so that we can see the results that are created by ship flow. The task monitor shows all necessary information about the status of the computation. Shipflow is doing the first iteration at the moment. In this case, Shipflow is executed on my local machine, but this could also be done on any remote machine, so you don't need two powerful workstations. All the computations are controlled via the resource manager through our framework. Once the computation has finished the third iteration, we'll see that the color changes again to black, which indicates that the computation has finished. There are some results available in a table view and also for waves, waves that are created, that are produced by the ship. Now, I change the number of iterations because we would like to have reliable results for the, for the optimization. Let us configure the design engine by adding some of the values that are received from ship flow. First of all, the wave making resistance coefficient analyzed by transverse wave cuts. We add some by pressure integration and some values that we would like to monitor, that is CB, trim angle and sink. And maybe the center, longitude like center of buoyancy. Now for each design that is created, all these values will be computed and um, the design engine it's a tangent search method that controls some of the points of the curve, takes into account the resistance and will monitor the other values and creates a nice table view of that. So we only leave the wave cut analysis result as our objective. Design variables will be three. We are not using the first one, but we would like to have some um, screenshots. Let's take a screenshot scale.
now we have configured computation. Now we can start the optimization. Now we have started the optimization at 9.19 and we will again have a look at it after we have achieved some convergence. So after a few designs, we can already see that there is some improvement and we can already have a look at the wave pattern and the pictures that we have pre-configured. Let's change into the documentation browser and there we can see that this was the baseline design, design zero, and we can see a change in wave pattern if we move the mouse across the different designs. So let's come back after the computation has finished or converged. Now about two and a half hours later, you can see that 45 designs have been created. It's 11.52 now and we will have a look at the results the objective function has been minimized by about more than 10%. Design number zero, that is the initial design, the baseline design. Let's have a look how the design and the wave pattern developed. This is the wave pattern of the baseline design and design number 42 in comparison. Creates a wave pattern like this. You can clearly see that the diverging waves have been reduced significantly. And we can expect that this outcome also reflects the real physical behavior of the vessel operating at this speed.